my dear friends students today we are going to discuss about the physiology of thyroid disorders more than that or prior to that you must or you must know the sufficient knowledge about the source of the complaint or the source of the symptoms or the source of the signs because as you know our thyroid gland is under the control of pituitary but at the same time pituitary is under the control of hypothalamus so the thyroid gland functions very well with the, the orders from the pituitary and pituitary is obey the orders of hypothalamus so let us see how the hypothalamus or pituitary controls the thyroid gland depending upon the situation or depending on the circumstances our master digital sensor is our hypothalamus whatever may be the changes in our mind or the changes in our body all these changes are observed and processed and perceived by our hypothalamus and depending on the situation hypothalamus give some instructions or orders or inhibition or regulation to the other endocrine glands via some neurotransmitters here hypothalamus gives orders to the pituitary pituitary to stimulate the thyroid stimulating hormones via thyroxin releasing hormones from the hypothalamus so from the hypothalamus it gives stimulation to the pituitary and pituitary gives stimulation to the thyroid gland via a hormone known as tsh it is the basic mechanism or it is otherwise known as the feedback mechanism likewise hypothalamus also regulates or the pituitary also regulates our other endocrine glands let us see how the pituitary regulate the other endocrine glands as you know the pituitary is having two lobes one is <coughs> anterior lobe of the pituitary and next is the posterior lobe now let us consider about the anterior lobe by <clears throat> the anterior lobe the pituitary releases the thyroid thyroid stimulating hormones which regulates the 
thyroid glands. Then next hormone is adrenocorticotrophic hormones. From the name itself, you can understand that this adrenocorticotrophic hormones that regulates the adrenal glands. Adrenal glands. Then next is the follicular stimulating hormone or luteinizing hormones. This follicular stimulating hormones and the luteinizing hormones acts over the ovary in females especially and <coughs> in males it acts on the testes to produce spermatogenesis with the production of testosterone in males. Likewise, other hormone is growth hormone. Growth hormone stimulates the or promotes the general growth of <coughs> each and every cell or the every system. Next hormone is the prolactin which basically helps the secretion of milk in lactating women and helps in labor. Next is the endorphins. Especially deals with the sense of pain and other soothing effects. So, there are number one that is TSH which uh, regulate or modulate the thyroid gland. Then number two, adrenocorticoid hormone to the adrenal glands. Then number three, follicular stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones action over the ovary or testis then number 4 growth hormones number 5 prolactin and number 6 is endorphin so anterior lobe of the pituitary synthesize or secretes or release the six hormones and six hormone acts differently in target cells or the target tissues or the target organs and next about the posterior lobe posterior lobe of the pituitary secretes number one oxytocin and number two antidiuretic hormones as you know the oxytocin helps the contraction of uterine muscles help the labor and one of the interesting thing, thing is that it oxytocin counter the effect of our stress hormone known as cortisol that is when we are 
first undue stress the oxytocin just uh, neutralize the stressful effects of cortisol or adrenaline that is that is why the oxytocin is known as hormone of love hormone of love or hormone of emotions and antidiuretic hormones from the name itself you can simply understand that it is anti diuretic that means it maintain the normal water balance or the normal blood volume and thereby the kidney can do its function in very well. and we can study the each and every hormone in details now we want to study about the thyroid hormones that is regarding the physiology of the thyroid activity 